the very latest on the efforts to stop the spill. Yunji Niniz joins us from Venice, Louisiana. Yunji. Good morning, Bill. The BP says they were able to capture about 1,800 barrels of oil since putting that containment cap in place in the first 12 hours. But the well is believed to be leaking at least 10 times that amount. BP's hope is to get this containment cap to collect 75% of the oil that's pouring out every day. But even if they're successful, thousands of gallons of oil will continue to gush into the Gulf until relief wells are completed, with any luck, at the end of the summer. This is going to be bad no matter what we do, but we can hopefully minimize the damage. But President Obama spent time with residents and local leaders, even stopping to sample some of what's left of the local seafood. Hopefully, sometime I'm going to be able to come down to down to the island, just eat some shrimp, and not have to worry about it. That sounds pretty good. That's, that's what I would love. But behind these smiles is a lot of heartache. We need help. We need help, and uh, we need and quick. What I've seen offshore, they. All that oil coming in, it's not good. They don't have enough boat out there to catch all that oil. All that oil is making a mess of the coastline. Workers in hazmat suits cover the beaches. Others in boats are skimming the waters in what feels like a never-ending battle of man against oil. It's been two weeks and you can still see the heavy oil out there. You see the discoloration of the reeds. You smell the oil as you come near the marshes. The president again promised to do everything possible to help the people who live here, but more and more say it's too late. I really don't know anything that they can say that can uh, could change anything. I mean, the damage is done and there's nothing that can be done about it. And late last night, BP announced that they will be paying a second month of loss of income claims to people in this area. CEO Tony Hayward also announced that he is handing off operations of the spill cleanup and oversight to an in-house business within BP that is run by an American. Bill, as you know, Tony Hayward has been receiving a lot of criticism. And he's starring in those image polishing ads. Yunji, thank you.